this video we're going to look at how to draw y equals sine x and what it looks like. So first of all, draw a little table like so. So x zero being 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 50, uh, 150, 180, 210, 225, 240, 270, 300, 315, 330 and 360. Um, I've chosen these uh, coordinates because whenever you work out the um, signs of these angles. Some of them give nice numbers and also other ones you're going to need to know anyway. Okay, so on your calculator, get your calculator, let's work out some of these angles. So let's work out the sine of zero. So you turn on your calculator and do the sine of zero. Make sure your calculator just get a D at the top, make sure it's in degrees mode. So then that would be zero. So sine of zero is zero. The sine of 30, so the sine of 30 is a half, 0.5. The sine of 45, so the sine of 45, which would be 0 0.7071, so on. Uh, we're just going to, uh, let's just do these to three decimal places, 0 0.707. And carry this on the whole way across to get all the values in the table. When you do that, it'll look something like this. So you find that you get, whenever x is 0, uh, sine x is 0. Whenever x is 30 degrees, uh, sine x is 0 0.5, 45 degrees, 0 0.707, so on. 60 degrees, 0 0.866, so on. Whenever it's 90 degrees, you get 1. Whenever you do 120, you actually get the same value as 60. You get 0 0.6, uh, or 0 0.866, so on. Whenever you do 135, you get the same answer as you did for 45 degrees, so 0 0.707. When you do, and so on. Uh, whenever you do 150, you actually get 0 0.5, which is the same as the sine of 30 degrees. And whenever you do the sine of 180, you get 0, which is the same as 0. So as you can see, this is symmetrical. So whenever you, there would be a line of symmetry, I suppose, in this graph, um, well, in this section of the graph between uh, 0 and 180, uh, and the line of symmetry would be at um, whenever x is 90 degrees. So this is a bit of a curve. It sort of goes up from 0, up to 1, and back down again. Let's look at what happens whenever you go past 180. So as you carry on, the sine of 210 degrees is minus 0 0.5. So you're actually going now below the x-axis. The sine of 225 degrees is minus 0 0.707. Notice that's just, uh, it's the negative value of the sine of 45 and 135, so it's just negative um, 0 0.707, so on. Uh, 240 is minus 0 0.866, so on. Uh, my, uh, 270 degrees is minus 1. So whenever you work out the sine of 270, when you do the sine of 300 degrees, you get minus, six, uh, minus 0 0.866, so on. And 315 minus 0 0.707, uh, 330 degrees minus 0 0.5, and 360 degrees, the sign of that is zero. So whenever you draw that graph and plot it, so plot it on your uh, draw a set of axes uh, going across from zero all the way up to 360, uh, draw your y-axis going from 1 to minus 1, and plot those points and see what you get. So pause the video now and do that and see what happens. Okay, so you've drawn your graph. And you should have something that looks like this part here, okay? So you should have something that looks like this. So it goes from 0 up to 1 at 90 degrees. So at 90 degrees, it's 1. The sine of um, uh, 270 degrees is minus 1. So it looks something like this, okay? So it's a curve that starts at 0, 0. The origin goes up to 1, down to 180 degrees and 0. 270 being minus 1. 360 being zero and so on, and this would uh, this would repeat. Um, if you do the if you do the sign of the negative uh, angles, so the sign of minus 30 degrees, sign of, uh, of minus 45 and so on, all the way across to sign of minus uh, 90 degrees, you get that to be uh, minus one and so on. So what happens is this curve carries on forever, goes across like so and across like so, and it goes up between one and minus one. So that's the graph y equals sine x.